In June 2002, Israel started building the wall around the West Bank. Started from the northern area of Jenin until south of Kalkilia. This is the first phase of the wall, 145 kilometers of wall. Before they start building the wall, they invade the West Bank. And 2002, in March, they start the big invasions of the West Bank that almost they destroy the infrastructure of the Palestinian areas. They cut off the West Bank villages and cities from each other with more than 630 checkpoints and roadblocks. There were almost a curfew all over when they start building this wall. At the beginning, nobody knows what Israel wants from this wall and what does it mean? Where do they want to go with that? Until later on with the start, like and some of the plans come out. So talking from today, from this point where we are now in the second invasion of the West Bank, for us it was clear that the whole invasion that happened in the West Bank, it was to prepare for building such an, a huge, massive colonial step, which is the wall. The wall as we see it today, it is the biggest Israeli construction project that they built since 1967 until now. It is meant to change the geopolitical map of the West Bank, which is that's what they really did. All what we see around the root of the wall, how it goes inside the West Bank, it is isolating the agriculture land, the water resources, annexing the settlements, and go inside the West Bank to divide the Palestinian areas from each other. So it divided into like three main Bantustans, north, middle, south. Within this three Bantustans, there's 22 enclaves that come in inside to annex colonies to Israel. We are in an area which is, we can, which you can see the consequences of the wall very, very obvious. We are in Birnabala. Birnabala used to be part of Jerusalem before this wall that we are sitting 